Nice. Did I hit the basket? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Holy. Let's go. Welcome back to the Tea Less Traveled. Today, I'm with John, um, and we're playing the, the disc golf course here at Little Fox Hollow Farms. The farm at Little Fox Hollow. The farm at Little Fox Hollow. But um, yeah, take it away. Tell us a bit about it. All right. We're in uh, Dallas, Georgia, and uh, we're on about a six and a half acre uh, piece of land here we bought last year. And uh, we've got, we started out with a rescue for farm animals. And as we started getting more and more farm animals, we yep. needed more and more money to feed the animals. Makes so sense. <laughs> we uh, decided to open up an Airbnb, which is over the garage. Okay. Call it the loft at uh, Little Fox Hollow. And um, we thought, well, that's working pretty good. People, you know, like to like to stay here, like to look at the animals and and we we're like, well, let's start uh, expanding this a little bit more. And so we put the she shed uh, ah. Airbnb in there. So <laughs> it's just a one bedroom. One, it's got a uh, AC and heater in there with a fridge and and uh, they can use the hot tub and the, the swimming pool out back. And then we thought, well, let's open up the main house because they can um, Put 15 people in there and that's a big house the, uh, <laughs> yeah the uh the hotels are limited yeah. in dallas in hiram and kind of expensive so we uh, have some families here that have parties and then i thought you know you know we're both veterans um i was i served for 26 years mm -hmm. which branch in army okay and i wanted to do some type of wounded warrior type mm -hmm. uh retreat for veterans out here and but, well, you know, what else could they do? We've got a basketball hoop. We've got, you know, working on a shooting range out back. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got some regular golf um, ranges. Yeah. And I thought, well, a disc golf would be, you know, fun to have for the, the veterans or anybody that was staying at the Airbnb. So I ordered up some baskets and uh, cleared some some space and, and made nine-hole uh, course. And still working on it. Yep. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's free. You know, and we've got donation boxes for the uh, for the farm rescue. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're having fun. It's a little wet after it's been raining. Yep. But it's a nice day today. So, yeah, well, well hopefully we can enjoy, you know, nine holes. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to play it with you yep. and see what you've got here. Okay. So, let's get to it. Hole one, par three. 305 feet, right down this power line. I like that. Nice shot. Thank you. Do my little flip. Nice. Good way to start out. First putt of the day. Hole two, par three, 296 feet. It's down to that initial gap and then slightly to the left. Nice. Cool. Is that down near where it is? Yep. Sweet. So about how many vets come through the program every year? Well, we haven't started it yet. Oh, okay. And I've been working with the uh, Wounded Warrior program to try to get uh, some more, um, I guess, visibility of it and have him have a retreat out here. Mm -hmm. uh, I talked to uh, Gratitude America and they're with the Warrior Path program and there might be a possibility there too. Oh, that's awesome. So if I hadn't hit the last tree, it probably would have gotten the whole way. Oh man, there's a lot of stuff right here. I think this is all I can do. Oh, don't roll far. Thank you. My nice shot. <laughs> Thank you. I'll get yours. Thank you. I assume it would be pretty hard to miss that. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll take a gentleman nine on that one. <laughs> well, three, 241 feet. It's that orange basket right down there behind that little tree and the pile of dirt.
Nice. That was a really nice tree. <laughs> yeah. And the frogs are going at it. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. Hole four, par three, 240 feet. We're going back to the basket we played just one hole ago. Not the orange one, but the one before that. Going back up by that trailer and hooking into the horse a little bit. I'm gonna go up this slightly wider gap. Hope I don't hit the branches. I hit the branches. Well, tree, but <laughs> just trying to get as close as possible. Ooh, this is soggy. Oh! You know, that's not going to get me as close as possible. <laughs> you're, you're, you're dry, so <laughs> that's a good thing. Hmm. I think I'm just going to try to go slightly straight at it and hope it works out. Nice. Ooh, so this is a little bit of a tough putt for inside of 10 feet. <laughs> Darn. Well, make it there you go. <laughs> yeah, these uh, branches and vines are unforgiving. Hole five, par three, about 300 feet. It's just down this road and slightly to the right. Well, that is not where I want to be. <laughs> so I'm about pin high, but the basket is up there. So the rough is definitely a doozy. Ooh, and I've got this in my backswing. So it might have to be a thumber and just very low. Nice. Did I hit the basket? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Holy. Let's go. This went pretty far for hitting the cage. Yeah. <sighs> nice. Let's go. Hole six is past the 120 mark. Up on the next hill, there's a light blue basket up there. And the distance. So which one do we play to? So the first one we play to is the one up on the hill. Okay. The, the light blue, blue one. one. The second pole. Oh, it's wow. right next to the second pole. And that is a 490 feet par five. All right. Oh, that is. Oh, well, okay, it's on the fairway. <sighs> Do not hit that. Oh, well, the only thing to avoid. All right, so I'm there. Still got to get to the top of the hill. A nice little cave here. I think I gotta go with the forehand roller, try to get up the hill as much as I can. Nice out. All right, we're up there. I gotta get up there. Come back. It didn't come back. Got a little bit of a window.
just not high enough. All right, hole seven. It's 408 feet back to the red basket we played previously. On UDISC, it says it's a par three. That is being changed to a par five. <sighs> Dang, I did the exact same thing the as the first one. Just grip lock and in the woods. Yeah, the footing is not great. And I, neither was the shot. All right, so I'm backed up against a wall of vegetation. I think the only thing I can actually do is pitch out. Oh, actually, there's another tomahawk line. We're, we're going to do that. We're going to give it a go. Yeah, it's out. Right, red basket, kind of right up there. I have no line there. I gotta try to do a turnover forehand of some kind. Nice shot. Yeah, I'm up there. Probably a long putt, but better than in the forest as I've been. Right, I've got a, got a bit of a look through a lot of limbs. Let's go! <laughs> good putt. Thank you. Oh my gosh. That, that feels pretty good after the rest of that hole. But uh, that's somehow par. Hole 8, par 3, uh, 300 and... 60 odd feet because it's just past the 120 yard mark. Let's see if I can uh, correct it on the third time. There you go. I'll get up. Oh, I hit something at the end. But it was what I was trying to go for. All right, really no line for the putt, but I think I just gotta punch something, hopefully, get out. All right, that'll give me a putt. Time to make another putt. Oh. All right, hole nine, back to the red basket once again. Uh, about 380 feet, par three. Oh. I had missed that little guy. That would have been, oh, nice. been up there. All right, hit that tree on the edge. I was trying to play close to the edge, but a little bit too dangerous. So now I don't have much to work Dang. All right. So again, not much to work with. Just gotta, gotta get up there. Oh, all right. I was giving a little bit of a run. See if I can end this on a good note. No, <laughs> just very sad. <laughs> Good butt. Yeah, thanks for letting me play with you. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, if you're in the area and you're looking for an Airbnb, a uh, place to stay and play some disc golf, and you enjoy throwing up and down hills, <laughs> then uh, come check this place out. Um, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. Uh, that's the T Less Traveled. We'll see you again next time.